Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Jess. Welcome, I'm so glad you guys are joining us today for a very fun vlog. I am a certified personal trainer and I do post videos every Monday, usually revolving around health and wellness, but I've been posting a lot more like lifestyle vlogs, showing you guys day in the lives, just giving you guys a little bit more insight to my life and what I'm about. So if you guys do like that kind of video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up so I know and subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss those future videos. If you guys do like seeing more of the health and lifestyle and stuff on the daily, I also do post a lot more on Instagram. So give me a follow there so we can connect and you guys can see more content. It is currently Sunday. The day after Christmas, and Christmas was so, so lovely, but now we're gonna take the day to reset. Something that me and Rodney really enjoy is being able to take Sunday to be productive and relax at the same time to really get us set for success during the week. So that includes things like cleaning up the house, getting the laundry done, I'm doing a little bit of self-care. Like I really wanna put on some tanner because I don't know about you guys, but I feel like 10 times better when I'm not super white. Um, making sure we have food set up for the week, different things like that to really get us set up. So I figured why not show you guys what I do to make myself feel successful for the week. You don't have to have those Monday morning scares where you wake up and you're dreading Monday and you feel all off because your weekend has been completely different. I really do think having a day like Saturday to just chill, you know, relax, do whatever you wanna do, go out and do something fun, but then taking Sunday to really reset, get your mind right, have some goals for the week, get your space clean, get your mind clean, you will be good to go and have a much more productive, successful week and, and not as much stress going into your Monday. So let's get on with our Sunday. It's going to be super nice. Like I said, a mixture of stuff that's enjoyable yet productive. First thing I actually got to do is something I don't really enjoy doing, but get some laundry going. I'm one of those people who literally does not mind at all, like separating the laundry, putting it in the wash, but then I hate folding it and I'm so bad about folding it after. So I'm going to get going on some laundry so I don't have to wait till last minute tonight to fold it and we'll get going with our day. I'm about to start the laundry. Let's talk laundry real quick. So <laughs> I know this might be like super mom-like, but I have some advice because we have a ton of gym clothes, um, all of our like gym shirt clothes, all that kind of stuff. Pro tip, when you are washing your gym clothes, wash it in cold water and do not dry it at all. Air dry it. I know sometimes it can be a pain to have clothes out. You can hang them in your closet, lay them out on your bed, close the door so you don't have to see them but it will help them to last so much longer. The logos on them, if they're printed on, won't rub off. They won't get that like pilled like material and everything like that. Or other stuff like underwear, socks, like t-shirts, cotton t-shirts, like I wash in warm water and dry. But any kind of your athletic material, any kind of your athletic clothes that you really like to wear, make sure you guys are washing them in cold water and then letting them air dry and they will last so much longer, I swear, so much longer. started a load of laundry like I said about how to wash your athletic clothes I'd also encourage you wash your athletic load first because they want to sit out to dry all day so you don't have to have clothes sitting out the next day but the other thing I do every single morning is unload the dishwasher me and Rodney do run the dishwasher every single night I know some people try not to do that but we just use so many like utensils and stuff when we are cooking and we're in like a furnished place so they actually didn't provide us with a ton of stuff so we just wash it every night then every morning i unload the dishwasher put everything away get us all set up to be able to actually cook for the day So I haven't fully cleaned the house, but started kind of picking up, 
put some stuff away and then we just watched church so we've been watching church online we haven't like found churches because of moving all the time so when we get home and settle we'll actually find a church but craig groschel was is who we've been watching like on youtube and really really been enjoying his services today was actually a really good one and something that stood out to me i'll share it with you guys one of the points he made was so he's talking a lot about like anger and how anger is not benefiting our lives and ask kind of your purpose behind your anger and your purpose behind the way that you act and respond to things and ask if you're trying to prove a point or if you're trying to make a difference and i just want to share that because i think that's really really important a lot of times you think of like driving in a car right and like someone cuts you off and you get angry or somebody said something that you don't believe in or agree with or like with our time right now like people's opinions on the vaccine or masks or whatever and everyone's trying to prove each other wrong and prove points instead of make a difference and make it like a positive impact so keep that in mind but anyway something that i like i talked about this being like a sunday reset sunday reset in all aspects of life so that includes spiritual mental and physical for spiritual we like to watch church kind of get in the right mindset sometimes i like to make little goals for my week for the mental side of thing that comes in all aspects as well so mental aspect of having a little bit of time to reset but also plan for my week i'm a big planner rodney actually just got me a planner for christmas i'll show you my new one for the new year um, but writing things out and just having some organization in my life helps me to be a little bit more sane otherwise i do get very stressed and overwhelmed fairly easily and then the physical side of thing can be both the physical being my body as well as physical space so things we like to do on sunday we like to start our workout week on sunday so we will be working out this afternoon and just start moving our body making ourselves not feel so like lazy and sitting around so that way when we go into monday it's not such a shocker and then also physical space so that's why i've been cleaning up the house doing the laundry having a clean physical space for me makes a big difference as well with like my stress and how i feel overwhelmed and everything so i would encourage you guys try to use sunday or the day before you start your week maybe your week of work starts on sunday doesn't matter maybe that's your saturday but use the day before you start your week to reset yourself spiritually mentally and physically so that day doesn't come and we feel super duper overwhelmed and then we aren't set up for success that week okay with all that being said that was kind of a lot we're gonna make some breakfast and just get some more stuff done today and then we will be hitting a workout later as well let's get some food up we are sipping on some pre-workout it is finally time to work out i gotta be honest i just had lunch i am like super full today don't have a huge appetite because i ate so much food for the past two days of christmas don't regret it at all it's been so nice and fun but i'm just like not super hungry today so i'm really full after my lunch but i'm gonna hit a back and buys day i don't really have the energy to do a leg day like i normally do so i'm just gonna flip flop my days not a big deal but honestly i've been having such a good productive sunday the house is completely clean i have my last loads of laundry in the wash we're gonna get the workout in and then when i get back this evening that's when i'm gonna do something like that mental reset self-care take a shower my hair needs to be washed so bad i don't know if you guys can tell but take a shower shave put on some self tan or do some skincare all of that fun stuff to just make myself feel ready and set to have a good night's rest to get gone for a good work day come monday 
So we're gonna go get this left bedroom. Hey guys, it is now the evening and we're just gonna do a little bit of time to like relax and get set for the week. This is the time that I'm gonna have that like physical mental care and so we've just thrown on a little show and had some dinner. About to make some tea. I love having tea in the evening. Two reasons. One, it's just calming and tastes good. <laughs> and the second reason, I do really think it helps with digestion. I do wanna say, like, I do take outside vinegar and have like lemon ginger and tea and stuff like that. These are not things that are like key for weight loss. I think that's the big misconception and why people talk trash about apple cider vinegars because people think you drink it and then all of a sudden like you're healed and fixed, like detox juices and stuff like that. No, but it can be really helpful with digestion. Me and Ronnie have both noticed a difference in like our digestion when we have things like chia seeds, tea, apple cider vinegar. So don't think that they're all bad just because people talk bad about them, but don't think that's what's gonna be the key to making you nice, healthy, and fit either. They can be additions to your diet to help your system, and that is not a bad thing at all. So we're just gonna have our tea. We are gonna then shower up, put on tanner for the next day, and that's gonna be our beautiful Sunday. Pretty much it, it's been really nice, like I had said before, really trying to focus on those three things of setting myself up for success, but also being able to relax. I think that is a key to a Sunday reset or whatever day it is before you start your week. Gonna wrap it up and get to bed at a good time so we can get a quality eight hours of sleep to start off Monday on the right foot. showered up i have tanner on cleaned face wash brush teeth all that fun stuff um feel like i'm all set to get a good night's rest but today's vlog i basically just wanted to show you guys what i do to set myself up for success for the week i'm definitely one of those people that if i do not plan stuff out or take care of myself i do burn out i do get overwhelmed and then things just end up going downhill a little too fast. So if you are one of those people who find yourself getting overwhelmed, getting too busy in the day, not taking time for yourself, I definitely encourage you guys, use a day like a Sunday to reset. That doesn't mean just sit around, but be productive and find things that are gonna make you feel set up for your week. For me, that's writing everything out in my planner, taking some time to make myself feel refreshed and then also taking some time to hang out. For me and Rodney too, we also like to start our workouts this week and get ourselves like on the right foot, um, both with our workouts and nutrition, eating healthy, fueling our bodies, and we both get a solid nice rest so we feel good to go. If you guys haven't already, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Videos do come out every single Monday and I don't want you guys to miss one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.